Picture this, you're talking to your computer and it's not just listening, it's watching your facial expressions, remembering your previous conversations and responding with genuine emotional reactions. Meanwhile, across the tech landscape, engineers are teaching artificial intelligence systems to master complex tasks in mere minutes. Quantum computers are solving problems 13,000 times faster than supercomputers, and a heated debate is raging about whether AI should be allowed to engage in adult conversations. This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now, and the implications are staggering. The strangest comeback in tech history. Microsoft just did something nobody saw coming. They brought back Clippy, but not as the annoying paperclip that haunted Office users for decades. Meet Mo, a glowing orb that represents perhaps the most fascinating evolution in digital assistant technology we've ever witnessed. This isn't just a cosmetic upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of how humans interact with artificial intelligence. Mo lives inside Microsoft's voice interaction system, and what makes it extraordinary is its emotional intelligence. As you speak, this digital entity smiles, frowns, blinks, and even tilts its head based on the tone and content of your conversation. But here's where it gets truly remarkable. Mo remembers everything. It recalls details from previous conversations, understands the projects you're working on, and builds a genuine relationship with you over time. The company has been secretly testing this technology for months, and they're now activating it by default across the United States. Jacob Andre, Microsoft's vice president of product and growth, made a bold statement. Clippy walked so that we could run. He wasn't exaggerating. Mo includes something called Learn Live Mode, which functions as a Socratic-style tutor that doesn't simply provide answers but guides you through complex concepts using interactive whiteboards and visual demonstrations. What's driving this dramatic shift? Microsoft's AI chief, Mustafa Suleiman, has been hinting at something revolutionary. He wants their digital assistant to develop a genuine identity. In his own words, it will have a room that it lives in and it will age. The marketing campaign reflects this ambitious vision, with new advertisements calling it the computer you can talk to. When minutes replace months. While Microsoft was busy creating digital personalities, Google's research division was solving a completely different problem, one that could transform how artificial intelligence learns and adapts. They've developed something called Flame, and it's rewriting the rules of machine learning efficiency. Here's the challenge they tackled. Existing AI detection systems work reasonably well on standard photographs but completely fall apart when analyzing satellite imagery, aerial photographs, or any images taken from unusual angles. Tiny objects, similar looking categories, and complex visual scenarios confuse these systems. Traditional solutions require grinding through massive datasets for hours using expensive, high-powered graphics processors. Flame changes everything. It can train an AI system to excel at specialized tasks in approximately one minute per category, using nothing more than a regular computer processor. The process is elegantly simple, yet remarkably effective. First, a general detection system scans images and identifies potential matches, deliberately over-collecting possibilities. Flame then focuses on the uncertain cases, the images the system isn't confident about grouping similar examples, and selecting a small, diverse sample. Here's where human intelligence meets artificial efficiency. You quickly tag around 30 of these uncertain examples as correct or incorrect. With this tiny batch of human-verified data, Flame trains a lightweight assistant that keeps the accurate detections and discards the false positives, all without modifying the underlying AI model. The results are genuinely impressive. On aerial imagery benchmarks, systems using Flame jumped from 31% accuracy to nearly 54% with just 30 labeled examples. In one specific test involving chimney detection, accuracy improved from essentially 0 to 94%. This represents a fundamental shift toward rapid, high-impact AI adaptation without requiring massive computational resources or thousands of training examples. Breaking the Laws of Physics but while Flame was quietly revolutionizing machine learning, another Google division was making headlines by apparently breaking the laws of classical physics. Their quantum computing team has achieved what many considered impossible. The first practical demonstration of quantum computers outperforming classical supercomputers on real-world problems. Their Willow chip, 
featuring 105 quantum bits, just executed an algorithm called Quantum Echo with results that defy comprehension. It ran 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful classical supercomputers. This isn't marketing hyperbole, it's a verifiable result confirmed by comparing the output directly with real-world molecular data. The algorithm simulates nuclear magnetic resonance experiments, the same scientific principles behind MRI machines. It models how atomic magnetic spins behave inside molecules, which represents an incredibly complex computational challenge for traditional computers. Google's engineers managed to probe quantum states and read millions of effects per second without disturbing the delicate quantum system. What makes this breakthrough genuinely significant is its deterministic nature. Most quantum computing results are probabilistic, essentially educated guesses with varying degrees of confidence. This experiment produced consistent, reproducible data that could be verified against known physical phenomena. The Willow experiment represents the largest quantum data collection of its kind and achieved error rates low enough to produce practical, usable results. The Quiet Revolution in Documentation while quantum computers were making headlines, Meta was working on something far less dramatic, but potentially more immediately impactful. They've upgraded their documentation platform with artificial intelligence integration, and it's changing how developers interact with technical information. Their latest release brings AI-powered search directly into documentation websites. Instead of typing keywords and hoping for relevant results, you can now ask questions in natural language and receive contextual answers based on the indexed content. Projects can upgrade incrementally with a simple command, and the AI assistant becomes available immediately after switching to the new version. This might seem like a minor improvement, but consider the broader implications. Millions of developers worldwide rely on documentation to build software, troubleshoot problems, and learn new technologies. Converting static text into interactive, conversational resources could dramatically accelerate software development and reduce the learning curve for complex technical systems. The battle for AI's soul. However, not all AI developments are receiving universal praise. Microsoft's AI chief, Mustafa Suleiman, recently drew a line in the sand that's creating significant controversy across the technology industry. Speaking at a high-profile summit in California, he announced that Microsoft will not create chatbots capable of generating romantic or explicit content, calling such capabilities very dangerous. The timing of this statement is crucial because other major AI companies are moving in exactly the opposite direction. Elon Musk's AI system already offers flirtatious companion modes, and OpenAI recently confirmed they'll soon allow verified adult users to generate explicit material under age-restricted settings. Sam Altman, OpenAI's chief executive, defended this decision by stating they're not the elected moral police of the world, and emphasizing adult freedom of choice. Suleiman's position reveals growing tensions within the AI industry and even between Microsoft and OpenAI, despite Microsoft's $13 billion investment in the company since 2019. Recent reports suggest OpenAI signed a $300 billion computing agreement with Oracle, one of Microsoft's primary competitors, indicating these partnerships may be evolving in unexpected directions. The debate extends beyond corporate boardrooms. Billionaire Mark Cuban predicted this approach will backfire hard, particularly if children can bypass age verification systems. Georgetown researcher Jessica argues that OpenAI faces a challenging balance between consumer demand and the need to convince investors and regulators they're building beneficial technology. The Crossroads of Human and Artificial Intelligence These developments collectively represent something unprecedented in technological history. We're not just witnessing incremental improvements in existing systems, we're seeing the emergence of artificial intelligence that remembers, learns, adapts, and potentially even develops relationships with human users. Simultaneously, we're achieving computational breakthroughs that seemed impossible just months ago while grappling with fundamental questions about the ethical boundaries of AI development. The question isn't whether these technologies will transform society, they already are. The question is whether we're prepared for the world they're creating, where the line between human and artificial intelligence becomes increasingly blurred, where quantum computers solve problems classical physics said were impossible, and where the very nature of human-computer interaction is being redefined in real time. What strikes me most about these developments is their simultaneous arrival. 
we're not dealing with isolated technological advances, but with a convergence of breakthroughs that will likely amplify each other's impact in ways we can't fully predict. The future isn't approaching gradually, it's arriving all at once, and it's more remarkable than anyone imagined.